Good afternoon and welcome to the Mike Show for Thursday, September 23rd, 2021. 55 degrees at 5.26 p.m. and I am your host, Doc Kamal. I'm here with my brother, Prince and co-star Max. And it is a windy, cool, damp, wet, rainy day out there and has been all day and all night. Samuel's just joined us. I am tired. I did not get much sleep again last night. The shadow people were keeping me awake. It was a very windy night, and the issue was uh, tree branches getting bounced off and rubbing on the roof and side of the house, and I took care of some of them today. Um, aside from not sleeping well, I'm not really feeling well. I've got congestion in my lungs, runny nose, Body aches all over, which I thought was just from a lot of hard work we've been doing the last this past week at work. But I think I'm coming down with something. Or maybe I've already had something. So anyway. But, <laughs> look at that. Mackie switched out and Sam sat down. Yeah, look at that, Sammy. Look at that beautiful soul. Sammy. Oh, Sammy. I love you, buddy. I love you so much, and I know you love me. Yeah. Princess Malsey's in the other room. We worked till about <clears throat> 1 o'clock today. Stopped at Meyer on the way home. Came home and cut down them branches. I don't know if you can see the edge of the pile out there. Uh, I couldn't quite reach one more. That may be an issue. But... Along with cutting them branches off, I got some earplugs for sleeping too. I don't, once I fall asleep, I don't have a whole lot of trouble sleeping. It's the process of just about falling into heavy, dark, deep sleep where I always get woke up. And then once that happens, I start falling off and dozing off again, and then the slightest thing can wake me up. And around here, there are a lot of things doing that, like trains going by and blowing their whistles and Trees rubbing on the house and Max breaking Elsie's balls. and <laughs> That was one thing. I switched from upstairs. I thought I'd sleep on the bed upstairs because it's more comfortable. And I moved down to the living room to Audie's bed for the last hour of attempted sleep before the alarm went off. And then Mikey started playing with toys. <laughs> uh, pieces of wood on a hardwood floor bouncing around. So that was that, you know. Got up and had coffee and said our prayers, read our readings. I don't know, we didn't read readings this morning, a couple of them, I guess, but not all of them. We did say our prayers and ask for the strength and help to make it through this day because I definitely needed it. And we did. Had a good day with my coworkers and with the, with the customer, the client, whatever you want to call, who we, we did the carpet cleaning for. Had a nice drive there. It was rainy, misty. It was more like a mist-sized rain, but it was coming down hard. It's the best way I can describe it. It wasn't like great big huge drops. But it was like just a sheet of mist. <laughs> like like the fog was mist. And it was being wind-driven. So there it is. And we stopped uh, by the harbor at Harrisville at the park there to have our lunch and big big waves rolling over the break wall and it was beautiful it really was I enjoyed that so anyway El Elsa's in there Mike Sam's here Max is here I think Mikey went back outside and he was soaked when he came in and I don't know if he's downstairs found a spot to sleep in the in the rafters or whatever, or if he's where he is, or if he went back outside. Friend was outside first thing this morning, um, and he ate some. And when I got ready to go to work at for eight, he was gone. So haven't seen him back this afternoon. I am grateful that he's using the chair slash bed that's made for him underneath the porch. I would think he'd stay here and stay out of the rain, but he's got his rote. But it's not that many days, hopefully, before he gets to move in and live with us. And 
kind of kicking myself for not getting an appointment for him sooner and he'd already be in here because it's kind of difficult getting out there especially you know like tonight it's going to get dark fairly early between the time of the year and the fact that it's gray overcast and probably going to get some more rain um it'll be dark early and it would be nice to be able to have him in here and know he's safe and warm and dry but that's October 4th that's going to happen, so I'm hoping and praying that, that that's going to happen. And all will be well with him. Everybody else here seems to be getting used to him. I talked to them about him moving in, and there hasn't been any fights or issues. Uh, they seem to be giving each other their space. Him and Max had a huge fight about six weeks ago I think it was I don't know exactly and that kind of ended in a draw I don't I think they both realized neither one was going to win neither one was going to back down so they just both kind of did it at the same time so it's going to be interesting but I know once he's neutered things will change anyhow I'm tired I feel like drinking orange juice and usually when I feel that way I, I know I'm Got a cold or something going on. What are you thinking, Maxie? You beautiful soul, and I love you. Oh, I love you. So we started reading a new book to the loves last night, and this is it right here. We got it at the free library. And we'll probably read a chapter of that tonight. Hey, Maxie. Right now I want to take a power nap, but I, I Mikey's not around, so I don't know. I'm afraid to do that. I don't want him to be outside and trying to get in while I'm dozed off. We did fire up the furnace just to see if it works and take some dampness out of the air. Uh, to the 8 billion who did not tune in yesterday, I, I mentioned that Liz Hurley's jubblies were 56 years, 104 days. 11 hours and 41 minutes old, I believe, and it was actually uh, 56 years, 104 days, 10 hours and 41 minutes old. So we try to correct all statements of fact on this program. Um, so today they'll be one, older, one, one, one more day older than that. <clears throat> and if the time is 5.30 or so, we'll say... They are 105 days, 56 years, 105 days, 10 hours, and 50 minutes old. All right, and with that, we're going to pause. We are back. And Mackie's doing some serious grooming over there. Uh, I don't know, Elsie isn't over there on Audie's bed. I don't know where she went. But, uh, you know, I usually leave it to whoever's watching to figure out when I'm being serious and when I'm not. Right now I am going to say something that I mean seriously and with all sincerity. I discovered that uh, uh, not long ago there was an obituary and I recognized the name, but I, until I saw the picture I didn't put it together. But my neighbor Bob, who used to live to the... Oh, here comes Mikey next door. Uh, the next house down the block to my left. Come on, Mikey. Uh, passed away. He was 62 years old. He was a great neighbor, and I, I was really saddened by that. I'm sorry I missed him. Well, there wasn't a funeral. Did you have a good adventure, Mikey? And uh, No, I'm saddened to find out that he's gone. Um, he was a really good neighbor, and I really enjoyed visiting with him and talking with him and having him for a neighbor. It was old school stuff, you know from my generation, a um, couple years older than me, or maybe a year and a half older than me, and we we were of the same era growing up and whatnot, and just old school, I guess we were, <laughs> and just sad, bless him and his family, and yeah, Mikey's back, so it's time, I think, to get these sweethearts a treat, look at that, isn't that nice, we'll get something for friend outside, and then I think I'm going to take a power nap, so piss off and thanks for not tuning in.